Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to use some of this panel bond adhesive here. This is uh, Lord Fuser 110B. This is a fast panel bond adhesive. This is a little different than the stuff uh, I was trying to repair the tank with. This is a faster set. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this one ready to go. Pick that up because I'm not going to use the whole thing. Uh, pull the little plugs out of the end. And uh, before you start, go ahead and uh, dispense a little bit out so it's coming out both sides of the tube. Now we'll go ahead and put the mixing tip on it and we'll make sure we discharge about uh, Oh, probably six inches of that, so we make sure that that's all mixed up the way it's supposed to be. Alright, we'll go ahead and trust that to be mixed. Now, as far as this, uh, Cap corner is concerned. We're going to glue on the inside lip here on the top and on this lip right here and those mating areas on the truck are uh, trying to monkey a tripod around here. This area all the way around on the top and then this area. We're going to bond it to here just so we get a little extra corrosion protection. This is a seam sealer area too, but um, we're going to go with that on the bare steel. So the first thing I'm going to do, since we don't get a uh, super long work time with this stuff, is go ahead and put a pretty good, uh, I I think we're going to put a bead on here and we're going to put some on the truck too, so. And if some squeezes out, then that's the way it's going to be. I've also got a acid brush sitting here. Anywhere you have bare steel, you can put some of this stuff over and it'll give you corrosion protection. I'm just going to brush it out um, a little bit on this. You don't have to brush it out completely. Um, I just want to make sure that once I squeeze it, that it's coming out of every crack and crevice on this so that, that we have some corrosion protection behind it because that is all bare steel. places we're going to weld have weld through primer on them. Okay, that should do for that. And we don't have a very long work time with this stuff, so we got to get moving here. I think it's a uh, seven minute work time. It's kind of cool in the shop right now, so we might be okay. We're just going to brush a thin layer through here just to make sure that we've got it covered. It should be just fine, but should fly. Now we're going to go back. I'm just going to put another quick bead on this thing. I probably used way too much. I've never used it on a cap corner before, so I'm not quite sure how much it's going to take to 
to squeeze out all the little areas. Set this over here and get it ready to go on there as quick as I can. We're going to use uh, sheet metal screws to clamp that in place. And I forgot there's a toolbox. That doesn't help me. Oh, no, they're on the floor. Now i got to figure out. Here's the nut driver. Okay, we're cool. Make sure you guys are in the picture here. Now I'm going to slide it over this outside or inside edge first. And I'm going to see if I can find that screw hole. here a little bit. I've got a little bit of a gap here, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get that closed up somewhat because I know I want that hanging down just a little bit. The only thing I think is I missed right here. Gonna put one clamp there for now. Got both my sheet metal screws in up here. I'm gonna put a couple more in it. Just to make sure that we're gonna hold and be clamped on the way it's supposed to be clamped on.
why I back that first screw out. Wipe some of that off. show you here in a minute is that uh, anywhere this panel bond adhesive goes on and gets glued the panel you're putting on you want to bevel on the edge of it so it makes it easier to uh, go ahead and do your transition work later with your body fillers Looks pretty good. I'm going to still try to get one more screw in that top. here and uh, smearing some of that weld bond adhesive into it. Now down in this bottom corner there's not enough room to get a sheet metal screw in there but uh, before I go ahead and weld the bottom of it I'm going to put the door back on and pull that to where I want it, clamp it, and then we'll beat that bottom lip around where it needs to be. and tight right now and then either you can fill those screw holes with a little bit of weld after this is cured or um, just smush some Duraglass through them. I would prefer to weld them but uh, panel line adhesive um, I was talking to the rep about doing that and they welding those holes up since I've never had a case where I had to use sheet metal screws and uh, I said, well, I'll leave the panel bond adhesive away from the hole. Um, I think it'll be just fine. So we're going to go with that for now. I'm going to get the camera down there to show you how that went. Since you kind of watched the whole thing, but... Uh, you're going to get an up close on it right now. So basically, I used the sheet metal. Come on, focus sheet metal screws there and there on this inside and uh, that's the panel bond adhesive was squishing out I smushed some up in this corner where that overlap is and then uh, we got panel bond adhesive all behind there and all down this side and then I have plug welds to do here and here and then uh, on the edge um, I showed using the uh, spot welder down here and uh, one of my welds on the end actually broke loose because there wasn't good metal behind it or it wasn't making contact so I went ahead just for extra insurance and put two plug welds down here and I put two up here um, I should have just plug welded it from the start um, I wasn't thinking with it being thicker metal that it was going to give me trouble so live and learn that's where I'm at for now, so we're going to let this cure up, and I'll bring you guys back uh, when we're ready to unclamp it. This is the fast adhesive. They say you can unclamp it in 30 minutes, but I'm going to let it go the rest of the day before I unclamp it. So 
See you guys later.